welcome to another episode of Vibe with Velo. Today we're going to be talking about the Wix Location API. This API gives us access to all of our URL information for our site. This can be really handy if you need to construct URLs on the fly, as you can access the base, the path, any query parameters, and other information about your site's URL. You could also use it to do custom navigation to other pages within your site or even external sites as well. Today, we're going to be focusing on the query parameters portion of the Wix Location API. This API allows us to get access to the query parameters that are currently in our page URL, as well as add and remove them from the URL. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the code to see how we add query parameters to our URL for our page and then access that information a little bit later. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Now that I'm in the Wix editor that has Velo enabled on it, I'm able to access the code. The first thing I'm going to need to do is import this new your API, because as you remember, we don't import all of the APIs for Velo automatically on your site, because this would severely hurt your performance. So we're going to go ahead and import the Wix location API and go ahead and hit enter. And now we're going to be able to access the different URL parameters that we can use on our site, and then also that query query params feature. So maybe on this site, I have, for example, a donation input, and I want to wait and see what the donation value is. And then I'm going to save it in my query parameter for right now, just so I have access to it while my users on the form, because maybe they're going to change something, or maybe they're not going to move forward with actually backing this project. So I already have a change event on this input field. So anytime a user starts typing, this event's going to get triggered. What we're doing right now already in this event is looking at the value and seeing if it's above a 10. So let's say like it's not really worth our time if the donation is below 10 to process that. So we want to make sure it's above $10. And then once we validate that it's above $10, what we can do is we can also store that value as a query parameter in our site URL. So we can access it on other parts of the page uh, or just like kind of hold the information if we don't really need to store it long term because right, we're going to pass it and um, it's not one of those things that we really need to like persist to a database per se at this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that Wix location API. We're going to go ahead and access the query params. This is going to be a JSON object that you're going to add to, and it's going to store it in your URL. So if I go ahead and look at query params, this is not how I read my query parameters, though, that are currently in my URL. This is only how I add or remove them to that JSON object that's currently part of your URL. So I'm going to go ahead and use the add function. And in the add function, I'm going to go ahead and specify the key that I'm going to call it. So maybe this is going to be like donation amount. And then the value that we want to pass is going to be that donation value. Oops, if I can spell correctly, donation value, there it is, that we, we already have grabbed from the input field. And so this is gonna add that to our URL. And if we take a look at what this looks like in action, I'm gonna go ahead and publish my site so it's nice and clean to be able to look at it. So we're gonna go ahead and view our site. So right now you can see up at the top, we don't have any query parameters as part of our URL. If I go ahead and start typing in this pledge amount, again, remember we need to be above $10 for this to add to our query parameter. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to 20. And we're able to see here that that on change event was above $10. So we were able to add it. And I now have a new query parameter in my URL called donation amount. This way I can access it on other parts of the page, or if I want to pass it to the page as we continue on, I'm able to access that query value. Now you may be wondering, how do we access the query value? So if we go back to our site editor, instead of accessing it through query params, what we're actually going to access it through is just the query. So if we look at Wix location, dot query, this is actually going to return the object that is currently the query parameter JSON object. So when we want to write or remove from the query parameters, we're going to use that query params dot add function. 
if we want to just look at the value, we're going to access the dot query property. So this way, if I just want to go ahead and console.log that. So let's go ahead. In this case, we can just preview it because we're more interested in the console. Yeah, so let's go ahead and open up the console, scroll down to our pledge amount, go ahead and put that $20 in, and we're able to see the donation amount and everything that's currently a query in the URL as well. The donation amount is one that we're most interested in at this point, um, so we're able to see it there in our query object. So that's a little bit about how query params are accessed added to, and then there also is a remove function as well. So if you ever have a query parameter that you want to remove from the URL, just like with the add, we're going to do dot remove, and we're going to pass in the key of the query parameter to remove. And it's really simple to work with. So check out the API docs and tune in for another episode of Vibe with Velo, where we talk more about the Wix location API. We'll deep dive more into how do you do dynamic navigation with the Wix location API. I'm Meredith. Thanks for tuning in to Vibe with Bellow.